Hey, it's Tina Forsyth here. So it has now been a year since my husband Dan left his job and officially joined our business. And of course, one of the most common questions we get from people is like, how's it going? How do you do that? Do you like working with your spouse? Do you not? I don't think I could. You know, it's a really fascinating topic to me because I know as much as people sometimes really uh, wonder if it works or not and, and how doable it is, uh, at the same time, many entrepreneurs that I talk to would love to be able to work with their spouse. You know, if you have a business that's doing well and continuing to grow and you have a spouse who's maybe stuck in a job or doing work that they don't love, you know, it's kind of a natural thing to wonder about or to really be able to explore. It's like, hey, could they potentially come and work in this business? And I'm not going to say it's for everyone because by, you know, by all means it's not, but I do want to share with you guys kind of a couple of things that we've learned over the past year since Dan has joined the business, right? Um, first and foremost, I mean, Dan's had a business before, so it's not like he didn't know what he was getting into. <laughs> he had an IT business a number of years ago with a partner, um, and he was bought out of that business a number of years ago too. And so he knew, you know, he always had that itch to be in business, and we knew he would, he would eventually uh, be doing something like this again. You know, for a number of years, we didn't really know what it would be or what it would look like. But as my business has continued to grow and was growing over the past few years, you know, about a year ago, we, were, we officially said, all right, now's the time. You know, it's a good time. It's a good space. We're good, you know, we're good financially to be able to take a bit of that risk because there's always a bit of a risk. When somebody leaves our job, eek, the business is now 100% of our household income, right? You know, I mean, that's, that's risky. That's a little bit scary in a lot of ways. And so that was when we decided to go for it, you know, there's a, there's a few things that, that we kind of have learned along the way since then. And first and foremost, I think one of the most important aspects is to really know and understand what each person's strengths are and what each person's work styles are. Because it's easy to fall into this trap of thinking that I work this way and I do things this way and do to do, do. And now that Dan's in the business, he's going to do the exact same thing in the exact same way. You know, and fact of the matter is at the end of the day, we have very different work styles. We have very different ways that we get stuff done and the way that we think and the way that we function. I mean, I'm very much a go, 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 come up with an idea now. Let's get it done. I'm a starter and a finisher. You know, I like to move really, really fast on things, sometimes too fast, <laughs> quite honestly, when it comes down to it. I'm very much a big picture person. I like to see strategy. I like to see all of that. I'm not like a nitty gritty detail kind of gal, right? Whereas Dan's the exact opposite of that. I mean, Dan's very much, he can get into the details. He can see all the steps. He can, you know, he, he'll dot the I's, cross the T's. You know, he tends to move a little bit, you know, he, he tends to move a little slower than I do with stuff because he can get down into those details and really see all those pieces. You know, and here's the thing, like for initially it was a little bit of this, right? It was kind of me going like, ah, oh, let's get a move on. Woohoo. And Dan being like, whoa, relax. Why are you just jumping into this and jumping into that? And, you know, you got to chill a little bit, right? Um, but here's the thing, you know, what we've really come to realize and embrace is that as much as that can cause friction, and I'm not going to say there's days where I'm sure I don't annoy Dan, you know, likewise, he can annoy me from time to time based on some of this stuff. Ultimately, we've come to realize that it actually is a really good match. It's a really good complement to each other in the business. And given the fact that we're both 50-50 partners in this business too, right? You know, to know that I have someone as committed to the business as I am, and literally as invested in the business as I am, and to know that we're a good complement to each other that way, it's really evolved into some really cool stuff. You know, I mean, Dan, uh, of course, is Infusionsoft certified. He does a lot of work directly in Infusionsoft and working directly with our clients there, which is also a great complement to the work that we do with our Automate Your Growth programs and our Automate Your Growth Business School coming out next year. And of course, Infusionsoft is one of the key systems that we recommend to people. So people need it, great. Go talk to Dan, you know, Dan and his team can help you get set up with everything there. Um, so there's come to be this really nice synergy between what he loves to do and what the business is doing anyhow, as well as our working styles, you know, because I love to be the one out there speaking and teaching and having conversations. You know, I'm really, I'm really the, the person who's focused on driving a lot of the marketing and a lot of the sales and all of that fun stuff. Um, whereas Dan's focused a lot more, okay, on the, let's get these things done, the delivery and so on, various, various services and whatnot. Right. So we've really each kind of come to find our place in this in this journey so far. And, you know, the other thing, too, when people say, oh, I can never work with my husband or I could never work with my wife. You know, I wouldn't want to be in the same room with him all day. We're not in the same room. 
you know, it sounds funny to say, I mean, it's not like we're sitting hand in hand all day typing away, right? I mean, Dan's in his office over there. I'm in my office here. I, I probably don't see him, actually see him any more than I did when he had a job, in a sense, because, you know, I'm in here doing my thing. He's over there doing his thing, right? So we don't actually work in the same office. We did for about a month. And yeah, that didn't work out. So it's pretty key to each, for each of us to have our own individual space. I think that's true for a lot of people. Um, but really, yeah, once you get to know and respect and understand each other's work styles and what each person brings to the table, I think it can be an amazingly wonderful thing. You know, and I really do, if it's something that you desire and you're interested in pursuing for yourself, to have the freedom for your life, for you and your spouse and your family, to really be able to build freedom and to build that around your business. Right? It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing because we truly do have that. You know, we're not tied down to a job anymore. We're not tied down to anyone's schedule. We obviously have commitments and such within our business, but we get to decide that those are the commitments we want to have, right? And we get to decide that we may take some time off here and there and all that fun stuff, which I think is a dreamy, dreamy, wonderful thing, right? So that's my two cents so far on this journey as far as what it is like to work with your spouse. And I would love to hear if you've either done this yourself, uh, challenges and how you've handled them and or if you're thinking about it or curious about it, you know, what are some of your bigger questions or things that kind of come up for you and or your spouse when you're considering this. So until next time, it's Tina Forsyth here. Take care, everyone. Bye now.